pick up my little uh, homemade rectifier here and hook it up to these uh, wires here. And that's definitely bright. And this one here is my, yeah, that's my running Go light. back to the channel. Today I'm gonna work on my XR500 here. Uh, I'm gonna pick it up from uh, my uh, video number six on the XR500 rebuild. I talked about changing the rear light bulb from AC to a DC system because I put a brake switch on the front and a brake switch here for the brake in the back here. Uh, of course, uh, next XR500 don't come with the brake switches, but uh, I want a working uh, rear brake. Eight. Last time I picked up six bolt AC right from the alternator right here, and I, I hooked up uh, a front brake switch here and a rear brake switch here going with the orange wire going all the way back. This time I want to take that wire off, so that wire goes right up to the switch. And when you put it, uh, when you put the switch on, high beam or low beam, this brown wire right here, it looks red, but I think it's brown. Um, this goes right to the running tail light. Well, I want to pick up from here, pick up my little uh, homemade rectifier here, and hook it up to these uh, wires here. I bought a uh, LED bulb here, a six volt. Uh, I think it goes up to 18. This is a brake switch too. I'll show you. I'm gonna put that here. So I'm gonna put 12 volts here to this one and here. That one's way brighter, so I want that one to be the brake switch. So I bought two bulbs. I already put one in the, the tail light already. All right, I'm gonna put uh, 12 volts to this red wire here. And that's definitely bright. And this one here is my, yeah, that's my running light. So this is my uh, brake light, so which is in, the way I hooked it up goes to the uh, orange wire right here. And this is one, this is my running one. So I'm gonna put it to this one. And this is my ground wire. Well, put it to my ground right here. So this is my brake orange. So this is the original brown wire goes to the to the light bulb. So all I did is change the light bulb to a two filament bulb, a brake and a, a running light and a brake light, and I added this orange wire. So this plug here hooks up to this cable right here in the back right here, which is this is where I uh, hooked up uh, my original six volts. AC, I picked it up off of here, which was right here. Now I'm gonna switch it over to the brown cable. So I'm gonna cut that off. And take that up. Now just to verify, as my, I wired this, you know, a couple, two years ago. Um, this goes to the front brake switch and it goes to the brake light. And this one here goes to the foot brake switch. So I'm gonna verify that. So I've got my 12 volts here. So I'm gonna hook it up here. I'm gonna hook it up to this one. I'm gonna hit my brake switch. Yep, that's good. And this one here goes to the foot brake switch. Reach back here. Yep, that's good. So I know this is for my brake switches. I'm gonna cut in here and try to find that brown wire. So I'm gonna verify this brown wire goes to the tail light, which is this one here. I'm gonna put 12 volts on it, but I'm not gonna leave it there long because it also goes to my speedometer bulb, which that's a six volts AC bulb. So I'm just gonna tap it, see if the light comes on in the back. Yep, that's good. So now I can cut this. So I'm gonna trim the ends off here. So this uh, box here, my homemade rectifier, is this one here. So six volts AC will come in here, go to a diode. So I'm gonna hook it up like this. Make sure that marks on this side. And a capacitor. I'm gonna go with 2200 microfarad. That's good for 25 volts. This diode here is good for three amps, which is that bulb won't draw, not even half an amp. So this is, and the voltage drop across that diode is only one volt, which is really good. 
So I'm going to hook up this to the brown wire, this to this wire, and this, this wire here back to ground. Because all this is already pre-wired already. In the AC sound wave, the first half of the sine wave current goes one way, and then the other side, on this side, it goes the other way, AC. We want DC. By putting a diode right here, it allows current go one way and it stops going back the other way, so it eliminates this part of the sine wave. So you've get, so you get this. So you get a pulse DC. This, this would work by adding just a diode in series, but uh, the light would probably flicker at when the angel is idling. So by putting a capacitor, so on this part of the sine wave, it charges the capacitor. On this part of the sine wave, there's no more power, so this supplies the power this way. So basically, there's the your perfect uh, DC system. So I'm going to solder the brown wire to the diode. This is right here. Now on this side here, I got to run this red wire, this run wire, and the two wires for this brake switch and this brake switch. So there should be four wires on this side. This wire wasn't long enough, so I piggyback from here to here because this brake switch wire, which is here, they got to be tied together here. So, so I got this red wire going to the capacitor. Got the run the run wire, which is this brown wire. The rear brake switch is over here. Front brake switch is over there. So I got all four wires hooked up to that right now. Now I'm going to solder that here. So to test this, this is where the six volt uh, DC will be. So I'm just gonna, or this one here. So I'm just gonna put it here. Put this to ground. The tail light should be on. Right, it is right there. I'm gonna put the front brake light on. And I'm gonna put the back brake light on here. Yep, yeah, right there, perfect. I'll take it off. So I know it's hooked up right. I'll put some heat shrink here. Just want to shrink it up. Looks good. We'll take that all up there like this. So I put this wire to this ground, which would be a black here to ground. And this wire is already to ground back there in the rear. I'm going to just take this all up there and make it nice. I'll button up there. Uh I put foil tape around here to so the capacitor doesn't get hot from the heat of the motor because it could dry out the electrolyte in the capacitor and then it'll stop working. Maybe I should have put the capacitor further back, but uh, I already hooked it up right now, so I'm going to run it like that for now. I'm going to put the gas tank and seat back on. All right, see if it works. Let's start her up. Smash that thumbs up and below, subscribe to my channel, thank you for watching.